Hey everyone, welcome back to Crypto Kingdom 78. Tonight I'm going to uh, buy NFT books live um, in the video here. I was just uh, was going to make a video on Crypto.com moving over the money because a lot of people are just having problems getting Bitcoin to BNB. I've been using Crypto.com lately. It's very easy to do. I can walk anybody through it just from a message. Um, I like Crypto.com because if you have Bitcoin on Crypto.com, when you go to the... Um, the cell, like the crypto cell, you can just put that check mark next to the token that you want. So BNB, and then you'll take your BNB, send it over to Trust Wallet, hit the More tab, and you'll convert that BNB to Smart Chain. So NFT Books is on fire still. Uh, hit the nail right on the head from uh, the first video. It's about uh, it's hit seven, about six to well, let's just give it to five to five and a half to six times up, just on the safe side. I bought it with 11 zeros originally, and then I bought more. I have about 60 trillion in two different wallets right now, 40 on one and about 19 and a half on the other. We're going to put more in the lower wallet right now. I keep three trust wallets and um, three crypto wallets, but um, I can do that with two addresses in my wife's name. So it's uh, it works out for me because I can uh, move things all over and have different tokens in different spots. So I'm going to show you guys um, what I end up getting. We're going to do about $900 US. I waited to sell my Bitcoin for about a $2,000 profit. I bought it last night at $42,100. Or sorry, it was about a $1,400 profit. And sold it for $43,500 today. Just a matter of being patient more than anything. According to what I'm going to get, I'm going to get a, supposedly with a 5% slippage here, we should be able to get $6.5 trillion for about $900 US, $880 US, which, you know, it's way more than I paid before. But I don't mind buying more. I'm not too worried about it. I'm still buying with nine zeros. Obviously, in my first video, I should have done a video buying way more with ten zeros thirty. But uh, again, congratulations to anybody that watched the first video and picked it up. You've uh, at this point today, you've six times your money almost. Um, and I don't think it's. Uh, I don't think it's. You know, it my level off. There might be some sellouts because it's only four percent. You know, but I, I think the people that have serious tokens in this are waiting. I don't see a person putting 40 grand in and then making 40 grand and then uh, selling it. I mean, if they were going to put 40 grand in this, 50 grand, 100 grand to start, I don't see them dumping it just because they doubled up. I don't, I don't see the point of that. Again, my uh, videos here about tokens I buy, I like. I spend uh, hours researching. It's 10.47 at night. I, I go, go, go. That's the way I am. I, I haven't slowed down even at 43. Uh, just I don't know. Just got used to it over the years. So I do a lot of research on these. I find these, again, my channel is not for financial advice. I'm simply showing what I own, um, you know, giving my uh, opinion and review on tokens. If you, you know, if you want to duplicate what I'm doing, go ahead, but make your own financial decisions. Like you got to, you got to basically figure out, hey, I could lose it all. I, I'm not, I can't guarantee any of these. I wish I could. I feel very confident about most of them, but nothing's a guarantee. So, uh, you know. Buy what you think uh, you can afford to lose. That's the best way to do it. It's just like going into the casino and playing uh, stupid slot machines. <laughs> to take into the casino what you're gonna, you know, what you're uh, willing to lose and not, uh, you know, regret it the next day. Anyways, uh, again, that's uh, thanks to everybody to uh, that watched the videos here. Glad that uh, everybody's doing well with NFT books. I'm just gonna keep it going. I don't mind over, you know, I'm not overpaying for it, but I don't mind over like paying. 10 times, 8 times more. We're paying about 9 times more tonight than what I originally pay, picked it up for when it had 11 zeros, maybe more than that. So when I originally picked it up, the first time I was getting um, a trillion for, I believe, 9 to $13. So now for a trillion, you're looking at uh, the 127. So it's 14x since I originally bought it. But I mean, 14x in a month, that's pretty good. I mean... I know there's some out there that we can hit again that are going to 7,000 times X and, and probably 70,000 times X. But this could be one of them. We just got to be patient, wait and see. So again, I'll be picking this up right now. We'll do a live video on this. I already have my BNB ready on uh, Trust Wallet. If anybody needs help again using it, let me know. I moved the BNB over from crypto.com. I'm going to pay 127 it looks. It's up 32%. That's fine. I don't mind supporting it. It's It's been good to me, this token. So... Who cares if I'm if I'm getting this many trillion? It's still a good deal. One trillion for 127 bucks. Just let's look at the other tokens. We don't have to mention them. This could be worth you know whatever you think it could be worth for a trillion. So 100 and something bucks, big deal. Let's just go for it. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to open up my trust wallet, this trust wallet. It's a different one now. I already have it locked on the screen. So I put it in here. I maxed out the BNB, uh, 2.31209. I'm currently, well, I just changed a bit. So let's hit accept. The minimum I'm going to get is 6.4. It was about 6.6, .6, but whatever. I'll make that back in reflections. So if we, I have the uh, slippage, so everybody knows at 5%. So let's just see what happens. Confirm swap. Let's see what happens. Okay, transaction not good. Okay, cannot estimate gas. Okay, let's see what happens here. So I don't think this is a slippage error. I think this is simply an error due to this number right here. Let's try to first cut this. Okay, down. then we can't cut this number down. Okay, let's go to max up here at the top. Let's try to, okay, so we got to factor in for 9% here. And you're going to say, well, how do you come up with 9? Because I got the slippage at 5, okay? And let's try to keep some smart chain in our wallet to make up for the other 4% in and out. So let's go back, uh, see where this 8 is up at the top here, the second 8. So let's count back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 on 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay? Don't change that. Hit swap. Let's see what happens. Still, I'm going to get the same. I just basically taken uh, digits out of it. Oh, we're still getting the gas here. So we're just going to play around with this. Let's just see. The transaction I can see. I'm pretty good at this, usually figuring this out. Sometimes it's just got to do with these zeros over the top. We still might have way too many. So let's just go back down a little bit more. Every time we're going down more and turning these numbers, yeah, we're very far over on the decimal point on BNB. So probably when we're at the 731 here, it's still probably not enough to cover the 4%. So let's go over to where the 9 is. Let's count over to the 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let's go six more zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You probably don't need them in there, but let's see what happens. Okay, hit swap. Minimum, okay, accept price, whatever. I'm not even paying attention to that right now. Confirm swap. Okay, so may require gas limit. Transaction may fail or may require manual gas limit. Okay, let's just try this. We're just going to keep plugging away at this until we get it. We're going to figure this out once and for all here. Okay, let's just eliminate my B and B. Let's just go straight to the three. Let's make it a two. Okay, let's let's leave a little bit of B and B in here and let's see what happens. Let's make it a. We were at two point three. So I don't, I can't just um, in the top of my head know what that decimal point's worth. Let's just hit swap. It's a little bit less. Let's just see if we have enough. Let's see if it's a price problem or are we having a slippage problem? I didn't think it was the slippage. I'm pretty sure it's the price. Let's go to 2.1 and then we'll start fooling around with the slippage. So instead of having 2.32, which is my max, let's try 2.1. Swap. Okay, so we're still getting that gas error. So now we're going to fool around with the slippage. I feel that comfortable enough that we've taken enough off. All right, let's just go right up to 8%. Like to heck with this fooling around. Let's go to 8%. Let's just see what happens here. So 8%. Let's hit, uh, let's still leave the BNB &B just to cover some room. Hit confirm swap. Hit accept. I'm going to get a little bit less, but I'm also going to have some smart chain left. So we're still getting this cannot estimate gas. Transaction may fail and require manual gas limit. I've, I've had this problem before but not to this extent. I'm not sure because obviously I have no problem buying. Um, let's eliminate one more here. Let's keep the thing at eight. We're going to figure this out and see how much BNB we have to take off because at the top of my head, I don't know how much dollars that is between 232 and 20. It's probably just enough. Let's put, uh, let's leave the slippage at eight. Okay. Now wants to give me 5.56. Confirm swap. Let's see. So manual gas limits still. So we're just going to keep playing with this until we get it. Um, I don't believe it's the amount of tokens I want. Well, you know what? Let's just put that here. I got an idea. If we put six trillion in here, so there's the billion marker. Okay, so we got six trillion. So there's billion three zeros. There's million three zeros. There's thousand three zeros. And there's hundred three zeros. Now let's hit swap. Let's see if it's this problem or what the, there you go. So I had to modify the price of, I basically have to tell it what I want. Now, I don't know if I want this little, well, let's just keep some smart chain, I guess, just in case. 
823. Let's hit approve. Let's see what we end up getting. So I had to modify the price after all that, you know, fooling around in there. And there we go. So I modified the price into the straight buy. So rather than maxing out the, let's, you know, so rather than maxing it out, um, I put in a straight amount that I wanted. So where are we here? Uh, 821, where's the darn amount that I got? Okay, from four, okay, so I put it in, it took the slippage, so I got 5.160 trillion um, for eight, well, 761, and then the fee, what did it come to? Everybody saw the screen, oh, right here. 821, so 60, but whatever. That's minimal in the big picture of things. So that's one way to fix it. Like you just gotta fool around. Let's go into this wallet and I'll show everybody now. Here's my NFT books in this wallet, 24 trillion. Um, I've got 40, so I've got, I'm not up a lot. I'm like a 65, 42 and 23. So if you wanna, you know, everybody can look me up on this address. I don't wanna show every wallet that I have, but everybody's gonna be able to find me in here on the holders list pretty easily now. I mean, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna alter, but uh, Anyways, it's, yeah, sometimes it just stresses you out because you don't know what's going wrong. It doesn't really, you know, it doesn't really give you an indicator factor of what, what are you talking about? Manual gas fees wrong. I, you know, I got an 8% slippage. I got this. It should have went through. Sometimes it does. If I look at my other transactions, they were flat. Um, you know, they were flat, just maxing out the, you know, they weren't a, like the top amount was just maxing out the, um, the uh, BNB smart chain. So, you know, this confuses you. I can barely even talk after fooling around with the phone trying to, uh, to get this. So that just gives you an idea of what you have to modify. So tonight's video, basically, I modified the price or the, sorry, the number of tokens I wanted to buy. And then while you're putting that price in, just count your columns over if you want 1 trillion, 2 trillion, 100 billion, whatever. Then it'll tell you the BNB up at the top. And that it's going to use. So it looks like they just won a lot of BNB. I probably could have got a better deal, but I left the slippage at eight because I really don't care. But I probably could have then modified it and put the slippage down to five. But I've noticed just because the slippage is higher doesn't mean you're going to get less tokens. It's all like the timing of the price and the whole blockchain. Like it's it's not as easy as just oh I, I uh, got less because you know I, I set the slippage higher. I'm going to get less. No, I play around with the Ethereum gas fees all the time and I set the limit to 250 in, in let's say it was like $37, but I move it up to 250. Then when the transaction goes through, I see it only cost me like $15.40. Sometimes it's better that you do manually adjust it if you want a better deal. Now also you could try 0.5 on what I just did, but modify both prices. Modify the um, number of tokens with a lot of zeros, like to a flat amount that you want or modify like try to and try to modify that uh, BNB price like get rid of it's a safe moon problem right now that's why they're having a problem with this doing liquid pools because there's just too many decimal points in these prices the blockchains are so confused of what is a BNB worth if there's a 10 zeros and a you know a nine at the end it's, it's so it, they could, it's crazy how this stuff was even designed but that's the problem so sometimes the system is just confused but uh, let's just leave it at that. Like and subscribe to the video. Uh, there's one of my wallets for NFT books. Uh, we're up to three grand. I don't know what I have in here now. I lost track, but it's not three grand, obviously, because the price, I mean, I just paid near the top, but near the top currently. I think a year from now, you know, it could be a different story. So I hope everyone's enjoying the channel. Sorry if this took a little bit longer than expected, but I wanted to do it live just to show everybody, hey, even though I buy tokens every day, I have the same problem sometimes as everybody else. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.